In this three-part series, I'm going to not only share my presentation word for word, but I'm going to be doing a training as to why I say and do what I do while I'm making my final expense presentation. Breaking down the ultimate sales presentation piece by piece. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe with the notifications on. That way you're notified when we actually put out part two of this presentation training. In today's video, the final expense presentation, part one, I'm going to share how I got into neuro linguistics programming and how I use this highly suggestive form of hypnosis. It, it's just really, it's just really suggestive, but it is kind of a form of hypnosis in order to close more sales. You're going to also hear how I use the three reasons presentation in order to get my clients to actually admit that they need the insurance along with how to correctly use the beneficiary by name in order to make it easier for the client to just pick an option and hand over the check. If you'd like a copy of our presentation prop file, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. And this file has some of the sales presentation materials that I talk about throughout the training. Keep in mind, guys, I just want to be clear, the only way to get access to all of the sales material that I mentioned in the video is to become one of our contracted agents. So let's roll the intro and get into part one of the final expense sales presentation. So guys, good morning, everybody. You all uh, do have access. Everybody on the training call, everybody who's on the sales team has access to the file. It's called Doug's sales materials or something like that. And um, today, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you my presentation. So and let me just be clear, this is the original presentation that I was using back when I was averaging 12 applications a week, 12 sales a week. So um, I had to design, I had to figure out a way to have a presentation that was really strong because at the time when I first started, I was selling in one of the hardest places in the country that, that, that Miami Dade and Broward and Palm Beach County areas. I was trying to sell there. So the nice thing is once I had the presentation down and I started traveling to the more rural areas throughout Florida and even in other States, um, it was like taking candy from a baby. So, um, the sales material that I'm going to share with you, it's all in that file. I want to start with uh, sharing you guys real quick a, a, a hypnosis story, okay, and why I do use certain mild, very, very light hypnosis forms of suggestion it is really what it is throughout my presentation. So let's see here. I just need to change my view real quick. Okay. So uh, with that being said, about 20 years ago, uh, five of my buddies and I went to a magic show. It was actually, we were going to different shows, comedy shows, magic shows, doing stuff like that every week, trying to get out and do something different. Um, and so it was actually a comedy show and the opener was a hypnotist. So my buddy, Jeff was one of the people, they always say, Hey, uh, we'd like to get some volunteers from the crowd. My buddy, Jeff put his hand up. They picked him. And so what I learned about hypnosis that one time, it, it, it was something that really, really changed my life, was there's a certain amount of people are easily hypnotized. My buddy Jeff was one of them. He was doing, the guy had him doing crazy stuff. And like in the first five minutes, he actually weeded out uh, the, the people that weren't uh, really easily hypnotized so that at the end, he started with like probably like 15 or 20 people. At the end, he had five people. My buddy Jeff was one of them. So I got to see it firsthand. At that point, I was going through some personal changes. I was selling home improvements. Uh, I hadn't gotten an insurance yet. I was selling stamp concrete, okay, driveways, pool decks, stuff like that. And so in, in the inadvertently, I got into neuro-linguistic programming. There's many books out there. What that did is that helped me see myself and other people differently in a way that basically – Help me it, like a form, I want to say highly suggestive stuff. Uh, because back then, believe it or not, I was shy. I was very timid. I was a completely different person. 
And so as we all do, we all work, we read self-help books and we work on ourselves. So I just, I want to start with that because the stuff I learned that I do in my presentation is a lot of the stuff I learned from, I can't remember the books. There's two different books out there that I had. There's a bunch of them um, on neuro linguistic programming. And so it taught me to see myself differently. Then I started seeing other people differently. And then I went from being shy to like not being afraid to do anything during a sales presentation. That was really it. And meeting people. Um, it helped me meet my wife. Okay. Anyways, so with all that being said, every every aspect of life, neurolinguistics programming had helped me. Now I look back 20 years ago, it all started then. It all started with my buddy Jeff patting his head and dancing around like a monkey. So some of the stuff I use, let me just say, when I go into a house to make a presentation, I have a clean cut appearance. I want to knock their socks off. I don't do what Matt did, does and wear shorts. Uh, my, my thinking is, let me, I, I want, if, the son, if that grandchild walks in while I'm sitting there talking to his grandparents, I want him to see someone that he's going to approve of. I don't want him to look at the guy and go, who's this shady guy in here? What's this guy trying to do? That's not, I want to get him in on the presentation. So everything I'm doing is for that. I'm, and I'm looking at my notes when you see me look down. So, um, you know, I always wear my little name tag always to this day. I still do around my head. It, it just, it helps me in, in every aspect of the business. It has my, my corp, my little company logo on it. Um, and my picture and my license number and everything. Um, you know, one of the things that I really believe in that I learned from NLP neurolinguistic programming is that when you make physical contact with a person, depending on the situation in the right way, it helps you. So one of the things that I do, and I'm addressing this first before we get into the presentation, one of the things that, that I do, and I did a lot back then, is when I would ask the client, so, you know, Mrs. Jones, I would always ask one of the questions, when you, when that day comes for you and, and, and you move on, who's the person that's going to come here? I will, I will reach over and touch their leg and take care of everything. So what I'm doing is I'm subliminally sending a bunch of different messages by doing that. One, I want them to think when that touch, that's my, the signal of who, whoever comes in their head. If the name comes out, my daughter or a family member, then I'm doing it right and right off the bat, oh, what's your daughter's name? So when they give me the daughter's name, the one thing, my goal at this point is to use that name, to bring that name back up at least two more times during my presentation. Look, we, you've all heard the keep it simple, stupid. I, I heard it too late, okay? So I'm giving you this breakdown because you're gonna be able to see the recording and go back to this and use a lot of this stuff, whether you're brand new or you've been doing this for 20 years. I promise you're gonna get something out of this, this presentation. So one of the things I also did uh, when I first got in the business, when I incorporated, is I did get a BBB, Biz Better Business Bureau membership. So um, you have to pay like $550. I recommend that because what I did with that, once they start you off with like an A minus, and then after the second or third year, they give you the A plus as long as there's no complaints, which I haven't. The only time I show that is when I have a client who's maybe a little difficult, maybe giving me a hard time. I really, they're like, oh, they're just not trusting. So then I pull out the smartphone. I, I, I open the, the page to, to, to my little Wix website. That's something I, I don't, the only people that see this is my clients. And so what you see, and uh, you're probably, okay. Uh, you may get this focus there. You'll see that I have the little BBB logo. And what I did, remember, this is all, I am programming the client to go like this so that at the end, they hand me the check and sign the papers. That's what all this is about. So one of the other things I'll do is I'll go to the about us page and I'll scroll up and I'll say, look, I even got an award for what we do. So I don't say from the Better Business Bureau, but when I go from Better Business Bureau to showing that picture of, of us holding that big old award, it's like, ah, okay, okay. Mm, there's that trust. I'm building that trust. That's how I'm building rapport. And I'm building rapport through the presentation. So my setup, before I get into the house, 
I never use the word life insurance. I'm not saying it when I call to make an appointment. If they ask me if this is life insurance, I'm going to go around and I'm going to go, listen, th this isn't the stuff you're seeing on TV, Mrs. Jones. Are you receiving Social Security benefits? They'll say, I'll, I'll say, look, I'm going to be able to do something really good for you. So that's usually a lot of times my rebuttal, whether I'm on the phone setting an appointment or whether I'm door knocking a lead. It's the same thing. I am not, is that life insurance? They filled out a card that says life insurance on it, but they want to get out of it. Oh no, we got plenty of that. I see that coming. So I'm, I'm, we're, we're removing that. The only time I say the word insurance, I don't even say life insurance when I make my presentation, but it, at one point I use the the three reasons presentation. So once I come in the door, Mrs. Jones, I know that everybody fills out and I show them the lead card. Everybody fills out this card for a reason. And my experience over several years has been, has been that everybody fits into one of three categories or fills out the card for one of three reasons. I use a lot of body language, guys. This is how I do it. The first reason may be that you've never prepaid for your funeral stuff or your cremation or that you don't even have any insurance for it. The second reason, well, a, a lot of my clients have these little burial policies, and sometimes they even have a few of them, but at the end of the day, it's just not very much. And well, they're hoping to add to their insurance if they can afford to. And the third reason, Mrs. Jones, well, a lot of folks have the funeral stuff set up, but at the end of the day, they just want to make sure there's extra money available so that their family, your daughter Rhonda, doesn't have to come out of pocket. So, Mrs. Jones, of these three reasons, where do you fit in? I stay quiet. You're not, you don't say anything. Let them answer. And if, and let me just say this, probably one third to one half of the time, they're a little confused. Unfortunately, that's the nature of our, our low income clients. You know, that's just, that's what that is. So I have to help them. And what I'll do is I'll say, well, ha have you ever started any type of burial insurance before? And at that point, then I get my answer. Oh, okay. Okay. So the idea, let me just make sure, sure if I've got this straight, Mrs. Jones. So the idea is to make sure that Rhonda doesn't have to come out of pocket. And so it, she's not struggling, you know, when, when, that tough time comes when her mom's gone. They're always going to be like, yes. So I am everything I'm saying, everything I'm doing, I'm getting them into the yes mode. Again, I want to use that name, Rhonda. This is all about Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda. You can't say the name of the beneficiary too many times. Okay, guys. So next week, we're going to release the final expense presentation part two. I highly recommend that you make sure that you're subscribed with the notifications turned on. And if you'd like a copy of the presentation prop file that I mentioned earlier, you can just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. And for more information on joining our Medicare and or final expense sales platform, just email me at that same address. Remember guys, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now, get out there and do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.